So uh, typically about four to six weeks after the Bitcoin halving, the market starts moving up. So basically the end of May, we should start breaking out of this sideways action and, you know, up only. Um, we do have China entering the market in seven days with their Bitcoin ETF. And Grayscale has reduced their fees dramatically. So people have stopped selling because their fees are now lower than BlackRock's. So all those investors trying to sell and move their assets to a cheaper uh, institution, that's pretty much over with. Because Grayscale was dumping a lot of Bitcoin. So, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got several bullish catalysts here. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to throw out some, some hopium for you. Um, you know, right now it's kind of boring, you know, uh, you know, sideways action is never fun, but you, you got time to pack your bags. A lot of people are saying we're going to have a very bullish, very bullish summer all the way up into the holidays where it, it'll top out at all time highs. I made a previous couple of previous videos on what to expect with all time highs based on, based on math. You can't, you can't, math does not lie for anybody. Math does not care about, you know, your emotions or, or, you know, how you feel. Well, that's your emotions, but you know what I'm saying? Math is, you know, it's just going to give you what it gives you. So based on the math, we should be at a top at 160, 170K for Bitcoin, which uh, once we get up in that, look, once Bitcoin gets up into that 80 to 90K market, you know, people are like, oh my God, Bitcoin's at 80K. They're going to come running in. They're going to flood this market. And so realistically, based on the time frame of the Bitcoin halving, uh, you could see like June, we could be at 80K and, you know, or even 75K and we could see a, a, a big increase in volatility, market cap, and it, it could be just this steady stream all summer long of, of normies legacy market investors, uh, et cetera, et cetera, coming in, pouring in as in inflation increases and it's going to continue to increase. They just passed these, uh, this budget for endless wars, this new bill that they passed for endless wars. So they got to keep, got to keep the war machine going on. You got the BRICS nation. Several of them are dropping the U S dollar completely. Uh, Russia and China, and what was it? Argentina. Argentina is completely, or it might have not been Argentina. It's one of them. It's one of them countries down south is dropping the U.S. dollar completely in, for international transactions, so oil purchases. Uh, so multiple countries of the BRICS nation. And they've got their blockchain launched out. They've got their websites and exchanges already launched out. They've been working on all that since 2018. So they're going to start really flooding the market, you know, crypto market. I mean, no, the U.S. government can't regulate it out of existence. I mean, all that, oh, we're going to shut you down. You're going to this, that, and the third. And then you can't stop it. You're not going to stop this bull market. You're not going to stop people from like, I'm as shut out from the market as you can get. And I'm still in it. Like I can't cash my, I can't get in crypto, nor can I get out. There's no on ramps or off ramps here in the state of Louisiana for this old boy. I literally have to go through Robin Hood's barn to get in the market. And if I can do it, 
people all around the world can do it. So that, that the U.S. government ain't stopping this roller coaster, okay? And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, we're here. We're just at a very boring time. It's just boring because we hate our jobs and, you know, we want to just have some money. Like, if you went to work knowing you got 500 grand that if something bad were to happen, your little $15, $20 an hour job, it'd be a lot more tolerable. You'd be like, you know what? I'm going to keep this little paycheck going. Give me something to do, but I know I got a nest egg just in case things get bad. And see, that's the whole deal. That's, that's what's really weighing you down. You know, if you had a nice nest egg, you'd feel a lot better about yourself. And uh, so, so it's, it's coming. This thing is, we're, we're close for this thing to start moving up. And uh, we just got to, you know, we just, we, nothing has changed. The four-year market cycle has not changed. The percentages based on diminished returns have not changed. You know, you're going to get a 2 to 3x on your Bitcoin if you, you know, uh, if you got in at 60K, you're going to get about a 2 to 3x. You know, some other, you know. Some of these others will do better if you get in the right meme coins and the right meme coins blast off. Maybe you get lucky with some rando meme coin that gives you a 100x, a 1,000x. But at the end of the day, we're fixing to hit the up only part of this bull market. And that's not as far away as it feels. Promise you it isn't. The statistics and the historical data they're not here, I mean, they're not worried about our emotions. It's going to happen. You hear me? It's at the end of May, middle to the end of May, somewhere around there. This thing's going to start. You'll see it. You'll see it for yourself. Won't anybody have to hold your hand, make you feel good? You'll see it. You'll know it. So, yeah, you just... Go to your job, you know, hang on a little longer, you know, pack your bags a little more, tell your friends at your work, you know, this thing's gonna kick off soon. Let's, you know, and just live your life. But we're right here. It's, we're right here. <laughs> I don't know what else I could tell you. You know, I mean, about four to six weeks after the halving, it's up only. That's about the middle to the end of May when that takes place. Every single time, all the historical data says that's when we take off. You know, it's a, uh, I mean, we're not blasting off. It's, it's a slow climb to 160,000, somewhere around the holidays, like September, you know, October, November, something like that, the holidays. You know, we'll, we'll peak out. So, yeah, get ready. This is what we've been waiting for.